Hello there, YouTube. This is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with my initial thoughts and review of Galvatron. And I believe Nucleon. Yes, his little headmaster's Nucleon. So, my initial thoughts is well, when I first saw the pictures, when it was first announced, I'm like, oh yes, we're finally getting a decent Galvatron. And the look, he actually looks the part. Hands down, this actually is a decent Galvatron. That is until you see some of the finer detail. So, initially, when I finally got him out of the package, like, when I first opened him up, I'm like, yes, this is the best figure this wave. <sighs> yeah. So I opened it up. And the first thing I noticed is how awful the head is. Now you're probably thinking, oh, it's a headmaster. It's not a big deal. You can just swap out the head eventually. Yes. Except I didn't want to put more money into this guy. So one of the biggest complaints I have is simply how his head is. This whole Galvatron head, it's on a spring. And it's stuck inside of the chest. That is what you're left with. That's the Headmaster. Headmaster itself is actually pretty cool. Let's take it, fold it down, fold his arms out, and his head's turned around here. Now, if I can get my camera to focus on him and still have light, Notice that all the details are there. It actually looks like Megatron. Which is kind of cool, because originally Megatron turned into Galvatron. So, that is pretty cool. And then when you put them on, it just doesn't really look the part. So you almost need that little stupid flip-up mask. Although I'm hoping somebody, either Hasbro or third party... You're just going to come up with a new head system where you can just pop on the heads that aren't uh, Transformers. So, can I please get a Galvatron head that uh, doesn't flip out of the chest? On top of that, we got a good range of motion with the Headmaster. Looks all around. No problem at all, 360. Put this stupid face mask on, it doesn't move at all. You literally... Oh, wait. Nope. I think that's just because I broke it earlier. I'm trying to force it. It might su be supposed to move. I don't know. It might just be assembled wrong. But, yeah. The head does not move side to side. That's one of the things I really, really liked about Blaster and Power Master Prime. Which I have not reviewed yet. Is their helmets actually rotate with the platform. So you can actually have it looking around. It can't look up or down, but you can do other cool stuff. So that, by far, is my biggest complaint, and probably my only complaint about this figure. So, oh yeah, and the fact that if they wanted to do that, they had plenty of space in here to do it. Like, you could fit Optimus's head in here, the big one. Or two or three more headmasters, actually. So, that's kind of neat, I guess. Also, this is a purple, not really a blue. Uh, you might be seeing blue on my screen, on your screen, just because some cameras, purple looks blue, and vice versa. So, my other thing about this guy is he's got these pegs here on the forearms for these, which is exactly where they're supposed to be. Except, I kind of like it over here, and I wish they just include the ability to do that. But they didn't, and that's okay, because this is technically where it's supposed to be. So I'm not going to complain too much. Um, I might end up 3D printing an L bracket here, so I can actually put it over here. That'll be kind of cool. Another really cool thing is he's got ankle tilts. Woo! Really neat. And then his overall look 
is just phenomenal. It's very Galvatron-like, minus the head. So, initially, not thrilled with the head, but overall, it's a very convincing Galvatron figure. And, I mean, even these aren't the backs of his arms. It's just, overall, a really, really good figure. Highly recommend it. I'm sure somebody's going to fix the head eventually. It's just a waiting game. It might already have a fix. I don't know. So, overall, very thrilled with this figure. I was very disappointed out of the package, though, about the head. Okay, so, we have our little headmaster. We'll set him over here for now. Try not to lose him. I'll probably set him over here. Probably a little less chance. Alright, so, this guy's transformation, it's kind of weird. I guess all the Voyagers are going to be triple changers now. Which is fine. Except, I really don't like that new Megatron. It had so much promise. Alright, so first thing we want to do is this is going to his cannon mode. So I'm going to flip up the panels on the backs of his legs and flip in the feet. And we're going to rotate these around and clip them. There's a little tab all the way around like this. Then we're going to rotate these and put them together with this tab. Woohoo! He's got a decent range of motion, by the way. And we're just going to spin. Well, no, no, no. Nope, sorry about that. I'm going to throw this cockpit up for a minute. Grab this fin. Pull it down. Lift up the arms. Very heavy ratchet joints here, by the way. Very nice. Spin this all the way around. And close up the abdomen. Pretty neat. So, for the legs now, we'll just declip them from up by the knee. And they kind of scissor right down in. And then, again, you just peg them together. Once you get them all situated and happy. Something like that. There we go. And then, we just fold in these hands. And there's a tab on the shoulder, which tabs into here. Same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to flip these down. Ratchet that is in an almost position. So this next part is kind of weird. So the whole cockpit stays down here, and this whole thing tabs into the front of that, and it just kind of sits there. But we'll notice the feet don't quite touch the ground, and this threw me for a few minutes. Uh, I didn't really look at the instructions until after the fact. Um, so you pull this, so because it locks in there pretty tight, you rotate this whole assembly down. So it's kind of a neat little transformation. It's, it's just hidden. And then, you can adjust to the exact side position you want the cannon to be in. Now for the actual cannon part, we'll open these for a second. So what we'll do is there's this nice little tabby thing here. We'll flip that over, then flip this up. Then we flip this down and plug this into there. Just below where the head taps in. And then we fold up these side panels and bring those in. We have ourselves a Galva Cannon. And this looks phenomenal. Like, this is right out of the movie. Um, there's this little kibble down here, which is for the spaceship mode. Not really sure if it's needed. Um, and so far, I've not come across a gun mode yet, just because of where the cockpit is. I wish the cockpit kind of 
fold it down and clip back in like that, and then you kind of have your laser pistol. But, um, I suppose you could hold it kind of like this, if you want to do the laser pistol kind of look to it. Um, I don't know. But, very phenomenal. The way this looks, nice little Cybertronian turret. This is bad comedy, Starscream. Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. Something like that. Pardon my voice acting skills. They are not good. So, not too bad. So, to turn it into spaceship mode, which is his newest form, but because it's what it is, we'll do it. We fold these back up, rotate the arms, clip them down into place. We're going to take these legs and kind of just pull them apart. And then the tab in the foot actually tabs in, or the kneecap, sorry, that's the kneecap, tabs into this triangle here. So, like this, or something like that. Oh, yeah, we might want to put these back up forward. Rotate these back up. That might help a little bit. Sorry about that for the mislead. And these just so very gently tab in. Which, personally, I think this stage of the transformation looks pretty cool, um, being a flying cannon. But it's not the official one. So open these back up. Flip the cockpit up. Here we flip this up. And put this over the uh, tail fin back here. Make more like a Terra Jet style look to it. And these legs don't like staying tabbed in here, but kind of just gotta roll with it. There we go. And then take this nice little cannon and transform it back to the way it was when it was on his robot form. Because that is going to tab in to this down here. And now you have a Terra Jet with a weird angled cannon on the front. Little strange, if you ask me. But, you can also take that off and use it like this. The cockpit does open, and you can take the little dude, just set him inside. So, Neuron, Nucleon, sorry, Nucleon can pilot Galvatron in Jip mode. Kind of neat. Not my favorite mode. Definitely the cannon mode is the way it goes. But um, in all modes, you can store a Headmaster or Titan Master inside the cockpit. Like, it does not matter where in the transfer transformation you are. You can store it in here 100% of the time. You can store a backup one, whatever you want. But overall, pretty neat little figure. Glad I got it. Um, especially for the other two modes, it's very, very much Galvatron. Again, I'm sure the head will be fixed sooner or later, but that is the biggest complaint I have about this figure. Great articulation, great posability, great ankle tilts. Um, you can have him hold any of the 5mm weapons. Just overall looks sharp. Now, I haven't opened up any of the others uh, besides... Hard head right now. Um, he looks sharp. I'm probably going to do him uh, next. And then I also have Sentinel Prime open. Um, very cool. Still deciding some of my opinions on this guy. Um, but I can very much see why he's a repaint of Astro Train. But um, I still have three more deluxe classes to open. As well as the two-liter classes I still need to uh, review at some point. And of course, 
Fortress Maximus. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you soon.